Hi, this is a short talk about Smooth Life model, the successor of famous Game of Life. Before going on to Smooth Life, let's have a look on a standard Game of Life. What I would like to focus on here is the complexity of patterns created by the original model. There are a couple of things of particular note. The machine on the top, called Machine Gun, continuously generates regular patterns of gliders. They move to right bottom and their evolution is endless. Game of Life was created by John Conway, British mathematician working at the University of Cambridge and to University of Princeton. The model is an example of cellular automata. In other words, it is discrete, works on a grid and evolves as a global one-step algorithm. What's of particular relevance here is that discrete values describing single cell in this automata are Boolean, means they are either 0 when the cell is alive or 1, when, I mean 0 when it's dead or 1 when it's alive. I will not, I'm not going to highlight specific rules of the model now, you may find them easily just by googling game of life. Before moving on to description of the simple smooth life model, let's look at this chart. The chart gives information about the number of scientific papers mentioning the original game of life model. What this chart shows is the non-monotonous growth of the game of life appearance in science with the peak above 1300 in 2021. Let's move on to Smooth Life. I want to begin talking about its most fundamental feature, which is non-integer value of the cell. What's, what's meant by this is that each individual cell in a discrete grid of cells has a floating point value from 0 to 1. That is to say, the cell may be deaf, with, which means 0, alive, which has a value 1, or partially alive, which has a value between 0 and 1. Before going on to the algorithm and model evolution, I'm going to highlight another key difference between standard, game of life and smooth life. In smooth life, the neighborhood consists of two parts. One is the inner circle and the, od the other is the outer two-dimensional torus. And in order to calculate density, you have to integrate on over those two figures. Having talked about uh, key difference between new and old models, I will now move on to the algorithm. The key point of the algorithm is the activation barrier that says when a specific site becomes less or more alive. In an original smooth life formulation, these barriers are quite complicated, as see the reference paper in the description of the movie. Here, however, I use I use much simpler approach. Thus, I will call the model simple smooth life. I simply uh, use some values calculated over the inner and outer uh, figures and use the density and check whether they are in a specific within a specific bounds. I'd like to pick out one of the values for which the life is added. For example, the cell increases its life value if the inner density is less than 0.5 and the outer density is being between 0.25 and 0.33. Let's look at the result of a smooth life model now. There are a couple of things of particular note here. First, the produced animation is smooth. Second, some complex structures emerge. The system evolves in time and some larger structures are built and rebuilt. What's of particular relevance here is that glider-like structures similar to those in the original game of life are present in simple smooth life as well. Okay, that's it. So we basically covered the basics of the smooth life model. Now I hope you know how it works and you can start the researching more about it, maybe implementing by yourself. Thank you for your attention. You are welcome to leave a comment, ask questions and subscribe to the channel.